Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series. Here today to give you a quick tip on how to use the quantity link feature or the dynamic link feature into Excel. So let's say we went through and actually created some measurements, which I just showed in our last video um, on how to quickly take an area plus an area plus an area, creating custom measurements in review. But maybe we wanna dynamically get that data into Excel where we already have our tables created. So how can we go through and quickly do that? Um, in order to do that, you do have to have the complete tier of review in order to access the feature called quantity link. If you have that, good. You're gonna be able to go through and do this yourself. If you don't, make sure you um, contact who your reseller is. If you're here at ATG USA, contact us. We'll get you upgraded into the complete tier. And that way you can get the correct access to that tool or feature, I guess you would say. Um, but let's hop on in and review and show you how this can be done. Alrighty, so now that we're in review here, I've already created a floor plan. Well, the floor plan was already printed out, but I already created the measurements that I need to. Remember in my last video, I went through and showed you how you can go through and create these specific custom tool sets, but we wanna get this data versus living down here in the markups lists into Excel where our table is. So I save this PDF out to my desktop, and then I also created a Excel worksheet that was already pre-populated with some information like flooring title, what type of flooring, and then I had my cost already associated to and created my custom column for the total value of this specific amount. So what we can go through and do is we can easily have this pre-created um, to auto-populate data. So now that I saved my PDF and you can run it on multiple PDFs, if you click in the cell where you want the data to live, again, any measurement feature from review, it could be an area, it can be a length, it could be a count. Measurement data can be dynamically linked into an Excel sheet by using quantity link. So from here, I just need to right click, go to quantity link and hit create. And from here, now I could get to pick, well, I actually had a reference. So I did that a little bit earlier, not preference. Create, we'll go through and I'll show you how that can be done. But basically what I can go through and do is I reference to this file, but you can reference to other ones, which I'll show you after I link this data. I want to grab an area measurement because that's what I did. I took an area measurement of flooring and I want to look by, not the subject, because if I do flooring, it's all the flooring. And I have two different measurements here. I have tile and I also have my um, carpet. So I want to do by label because I went through and created my custom tool sets that had that specific label titled to it. Because I don't want the overall flooring, which you could do. But from here, I want just carpet. And then you can do another and if you wanted to by color, but I just want the carpet. So I'm going to hit OK. And that data is dynamically linked and we'll show you here in a second. But what I was talking about a little bit earlier is again, I have the label that's differentiating these two between them. And then also if I go to quantity link here, source files, when you first start, it'll ask you to add your source file. You can add as many as you want in here and even from folders. But anyway, so it's here. I'm gonna pop this over to this side and then we're gonna grab this. Hmm. Thank you for not populating all the way open. But as we can see here, I'm gonna bring this markups list down I have 9804, 9804 here as well. So as I go through and change this, it's gonna update the Excel worksheet as well. So I can then go through and add the same exact type of custom markup to a different area. Just go over here, just quick to show you. It's gonna update that information here, not just in my markups list, but in my Excel workbook. So now I don't have to worry about going through and update this Excel worksheet because it's already doing that for me. So that is the quick tip on going through and creating that quantity link feature into Excel. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But this is again, a quick tip on how you can use the quantity link feature or dynamic link into Excel um, called quantity link from Bluebeam um, within review. So again, you have to have the complete tier, but thank you for tuning in today. Like and subscribe and comment. It really helps out a lot. If you have any other additional questions, again, just comment below and I'll bring them on over. But thanks for tuning in today on this quick tip on how to use quantity link in Bluebeam.